And I found out I was going to receive this award. They said, who do you want to speak on your behalf? First name out of my mouth, Al Ruddy. And I knew it, because he's got more funny stories. But w when you're a director, that's not all good. Because he's got the damn cast over here telling them stories, and I'm waiting on them. I said, Ruddy, let them up. He, he let them up, they come over. Quiz I cut, they were back over listening to Ruddy. Are you going to stand here and listen to me? You're going to stand here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much, I appreciate it. You know something? You're looking at the luckiest man alive and lucky to be alive. As a kid, folks didn't think of too much of me and what I was going to amount to. The reason? I was a sharecropper, son way back in the hills of Arkansas, during the Great Depression, with eight years of education. But for sure, for sure, my mom is looking down on tonight with a big smile on her face. <clears throat> Uh, by 1954, I'd served three years in the military as a paratrooper in the 82nd Airborne Division, where I made over 400 jumps. Most of those jumps were made testing parachutes. <laughs> and on a lot of weekends, I worked an aerial thrill show, which was perfect training for my first movie, The Spirit of, uh, the Spirit of St. Louis, I starred Jimmy Stewart. They were prepared to shoot a barnstorming sequence. All they needed was two guys to work on top of and underneath a couple of biplanes. The production manager was talking to my partner and I about how much we're going to charge them for the first stunt. Hell, I didn't know. I'd never done it before. I had no idea what would be appropriate. But trying to get as much as I could, I said, $2,000 every time we do it. A voice behind me said, for $2,000, I'll do it. I looked around. It was a director, Billy Wilder. He walked past us, went down to the planes, climbed up on the top wing, buckled in. I said, this fool's got to be kidding. But he wasn't. He motioned the pot to wind it up and took off. They bounced down across the field, made a couple low passes and landed. When Billy Walter <laughs> climbed down off of that plane, he says, he had a twinkle in his eye and a little smile on his face. And he said, now how much do you want? <laughs> we agreed that $1,000 would be just right. <laughs> I worked six weeks on uh, Spirit. When they paid me, more money than this cotton-picking kid had seen in his life. I now had a decision, a, a goal. I was going to be a Hollywood stuntman. When I got into the business, the stunt equipment was antiquated. I know. Because I broke 56 bones, my back twice, punctured along, had a shoulder replaced, and knocked out a few teeth trying to use that stuff. But never believing that in the fact that that's the way it's always done, 
I came up with a few pieces of equipment that made the stunts more real, more active, and a lot, lot easier, safer. And that's really what I was looking for, a way to save myself some trips to the hospital. <laughs> you know, I didn't get here by myself. I had a lot of help, a lot of help. And I need to thank some of those folks. Like all the stuntmen and women who worked with me and for me and made me look like I knew what I was doing. All the producers, directors, and stars that requested me. The Academy Board of Governors for deciding to give me this award, this great award. And my wife, Ellen, for putting up with me for all these years, nursing me back to health many times, but best of all, the never-ending love. Honey, you're the best. Thank you. One last thing. I want to thank the entire Hollywood community for allowing me to be part of it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.